Hi everybody, Coach Jorge Capistani here, and in today's video, we're going to be answering a question that we got on the website about how do you set up for an open stance forehand. We're going to actually take a look at Roger Federer using two distinct methods to set up for an open stance. So, first I wanted to find open stance to show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. In tennis, uh, the forehand is hit in a couple different ways, but it's very popular or common for the pros to have this open stance where the left foot is not quite all the way in front. This is called an open stance, okay? Uh, then they also have what's called a square stance where they're kind of lined up towards the target and if they're really reaching to the side, it might even be a crossover step. So they're all acceptable depending on the kind of shot you're receiving. If you're moving forward more often than not, it's closed. If you're moving backwards quite often, it's open. So we're gonna take a look now and see how does Roger Federer get into his open stance because there's two cool ways that he does it. All right, guys, so here we are. We're checking in with Roger Federer. I got him side by side here. He's hitting four hands. It's the same practice session. And what we're going to do here for a second is I'm just going to pause the video. I want you to be looking down in this area, uh, checking out what's going on here with his feet and how he gets himself sideways. So I'm going to let the film go a little bit further more. And now what I want you to notice is as we get closer, I'm going to put these boxes here again. On this screen to the left, you're going to see that Roger is doing what's called the step out. And that's how he's getting into his um, semi-open stance. And watch Roger's right foot now as I get this going again. You can see it's starting to come. But at the same time, I want you to keep an eye over here on the right because his left foot's going to be going out there. So real slow, watch Roger's right foot here kicking out to the right. Here it comes. By the way, let's check in on the left one over here. Um, it's still not doing too much. But watch again on the left screen. Roger's foot stepping towards the camera now. That's how the step out. And now let's watch the right screen again. You can see his left foot is going away from the camera. That's called the step away. So those are the two different things. So if you kind of look at Roger right now, the upper body looks very much the same, but the lower body looks quite different. They're both going to end up being open stance forehands, but the way you get to the open stance forehand is multiple different ways. You can either do a step out, like Roger's doing here on the left in this example, or you can do the step away. Uh, and either one are okay, to be honest, with the, you should be able to do both. So um, we're going to let this go a little bit further. I got these synced up almost to the point of contact. So right here again, you can see the coiling. Uh, the upper bodies, again, look very much the same. The legs look different. We're going to let it go a little bit further. Here we're getting very close to the point of contact. You can see that his head is always down, his racket really, again, the upper body looks very similar. But now what I want you to do is watch the difference in um, how high he gets off the ground. On the screen on the left, we're going to call that an aerial forehand. He's going to get quite up in the air and compared to the one on the, on the screen on the right. So you can see Roger here is really getting airborne. And we're going to look at the landing on these two as well. So you can see something interesting happening here. So let's check it in. So you see now Roger's landed. And you can see that his right leg here is considerably further than his left leg. And over here, they're pretty much very much the same. The other cool thing that you need to know is the finish. So the finish on this particular forehand was way up in here. And this one is more uh, back kind of like behind his back. So I call that like a pocket to shoulder swing. And this is more of a pocket on the left. We have a pocket to... Um, hair. Okay, so it goes up a lot. So again, the whole point of this video is to show you that the open stance is the more common stance uh, for the pros, and but you can get there a couple different ways. You can do the step out and the step away, and they both accomplish the same thing. So there's Roger, and there's a couple different ways that he does it, and a couple interesting uh, views at the finish as well. So I hope that video helps you.